Ever wonder what you'd do if you suddenly became really rich? It's a big change, right? So, do you know where you'd start? What's the first thing that comes to mind when you picture all that wealth? Have you thought about how it might affect your life and the lives of those around you? Apparently, money can bring happiness, but it also comes with responsibilities. Before we dive into the video, we'd love it if you could do a few things. If you like what you see, click that thumbs up button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and help us spread the word by sharing this video with your friends. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Now let's get started with the video by welcoming you to Luxo Life, your buddy in life. Number 10. Keep doing what you were doing before. You know, sometimes when people suddenly have a lot of money, they might wonder what to do next. It's like everything changes, right? But one thing to remember is that you don't always have to change everything. In fact, sometimes it's a good idea to keep doing what you were doing before. Let me explain. If you had a job or a routine that you enjoyed, becoming rich doesn't mean you have to give it all up. Sure, you might want to make some adjustments to your work-life balance or maybe reduce stress, but if your work brought you joy or a sense of purpose, there's no need to walk away from it. And the people you love and the hobbies that make you happy, those things don't have to change either. Money can open up new opportunities, but it doesn't mean you have to let go of the things that make you, well, you. Number 9. Get out of debt one smart thing to do if you find yourself with a sudden windfall of money is to tackle any debts you might have. Debt. It's like carrying a heavy backpack everywhere you go, and it can be a real burden on your shoulders. So if you're suddenly rich, why not consider using some of that newfound wealth to get rid of those debts? Now, getting out of debt doesn't mean you have to pay off everything in one go you can create a plan to chip away at it bit by bit. Start with the debts that have the highest interest rates, like credit card debt, because they can really add up over time. And once you start paying off those debts, you'll notice that you have more financial breathing room. It's like taking off that heavy backpack. You'll feel lighter and freer. Number 8. Don't tell anyone You've probably heard the saying that sometimes it's best to keep things to yourself. And when it comes to sudden riches, that can be some pretty wise advice. It might seem tempting to share the news with friends and family, but keeping it a secret for a while can be a good idea. You see, when you tell people about a big financial change, it can have some unexpected consequences. First, it might lead to people treating you differently. Some might expect you to help them out financially, and that can put a lot of pressure on you. Others might even feel jealous, and that can harm relationships. It's not that you shouldn't share your happiness, but just be cautious about when and how you do it. Second, once you start telling people, it's hard to untell them. So if you decide you want to keep your newfound wealth more private, it can be tough to put the genie back in the bottle, so to speak. So take your time to think about who really needs to know and who doesn't. And remember, your financial situation is personal, and you have the right to keep it that way if it makes you more comfortable and secure. Number 7. You trusted them before, someone you might be the wrong person. It's natural to consider keeping your trusted financial advisor when you suddenly come into significant wealth. After all, trust is a vital component of any successful financial advisory relationship. However, it's essential to recognize that just because you've trusted them in the past doesn't mean they're no longer the right person to guide you through your newfound wealth. People and situations can evolve, and the good news is that your current advisor has a well-established understanding of your financial history and objectives. Imagine you've been working with the same financial advisor for a while now. They've been your go-to source for advice and assistance in managing your finances. 
As your wealth increases, you may naturally question whether they possess the experience and expertise needed for handling more substantial investments and more complex financial planning. On the other hand, considering a switch to a new financial advisor who specializes in managing significant wealth portfolios may seem like a valid option. However, it's important to weigh the benefits of staying with your current advisor who is familiar with your unique financial landscape, goals, and preferences. Their guidance and insight may prove invaluable as you navigate this new financial chapter in your life, ensuring your wealth is managed effectively. Number 6. Bulletproof Your Money Through Diversifying Alright, let's talk about bulletproofing your money through diversifying. Now, this might sound a bit fancy, but it's actually a smart way to make sure your money stays safe and grows. So what does it mean? Now picture yourself in a basket filled with various fruits, such as oranges, bananas, and apples. You still have other fruits to enjoy if one goes bad, right? Diversifying is a bit like that basket of fruits. When you suddenly have a lot of money, it's like you've won the lottery or hit a financial jackpot. However, you distribute that money rather of concentrating it in one area such as a single stock or investment kind. You might invest some in stocks, some in bonds, some in real estate, and so on. In this manner, the other investments can help maintain equilibrium and protect your money in the event that one performs poorly. Number 5. Protect Your Family Keeping your family safe and secure is something that's at the top of everyone's list. And when you suddenly come into a lot of money, it's a great time to think about how you can protect your loved ones even more. So what can you do to make sure your family is well taken care of? One of the first steps is to think about insurance. You might consider life insurance, which can provide financial support to your family if something were to happen to you. It's like a safety net that can help cover expenses and keep your family's financial future stable. Also, you might want to consult with an estate planning attorney to make sure your assets and wealth are distributed the way you want them to be when you're not around. This can help avoid legal complications and ensure your family gets what you intended for them. Another way to protect your family is by creating a budget and sticking to it. It's essential to manage your money wisely so your family can enjoy the benefits of your newfound wealth without overspending. Number 4. Baby Steps Taking baby steps, it's a simple concept, but it can make a big difference, especially when you suddenly find yourself with a lot of money. Imagine it like climbing a big staircase. You don't have to jump from the bottom step to the very top one. You start with one small step at a time. That way, you stay steady and safe as you go higher. So, when you get a big windfall of money, like winning the lottery or inheriting a sum, it's a good idea to take things slowly. You don't have to make all your financial decisions at once. Instead, you can start by paying off debt or setting up an emergency fund. These are like those first few steps on the staircase, ensuring you're on stable ground. Number 3. Now is the time to check so you can enjoy the most time in your new life. When you suddenly become rich, it's imperative to recognize the importance of investing in your health too. Much like embarking on a new phase of life, newfound wealth opens doors to exciting opportunities. But just as you would prepare for a new adventure, taking care of your health is essential to ensure that you can fully enjoy this new chapter in your life. Start by prioritizing your health checkup. Think of it as the first step in your journey towards a healthier and more fulfilling life. Similar to reviewing a map before setting off on a grand trip, taking time to assess your health ensures that you understand your current well-being and it provides the guidance you need to make informed choices for the future. 
Number 2. Use your instincts and step carefully. Not everyone loves you. When you come into a significant amount of money all of a sudden, it's like being in a new world. Everything seems different and it's an exciting time, but it's also a time when you need to use your instincts and step carefully. You see, not everyone who comes into your life during this period may have your best interests at heart. It's like when you meet new people, not all of them become your close friends. Trusting your instincts means listening to that inner voice that tells you if something feels right or wrong. It's like a built-in alarm system for your life. So, if you ever feel pressured to make decisions quickly or to share your financial details with someone you're not entirely comfortable with, it's a sign to step back and think things through. Not everyone who approaches you during this time may genuinely care about you. Some may just see an opportunity. And number one, learn to have a wealthy mindset. Developing a wealthy mindset is like laying a foundation for a big, strong house. It's an important step when you suddenly find yourself with a lot of money. You might wonder what's a wealthy mindset and why is it necessary? Well, let's break it down. Having a wealthy mindset doesn't just mean having a lot of money. It's more about how you think and feel about money. Imagine it's like a switch in your brain that helps you see opportunities, make smart financial choices, and grow your wealth wisely. It's about thinking long-term and understanding that money is a tool to achieve your goals and create a better life, not just something to spend quickly. So how do you develop this wealthy mindset? It starts with learning and understanding how money works. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. You might wobble at first, but with practice, you become more skilled. You can read books, take courses, or talk to financial experts to gain knowledge about managing and growing your wealth. And that's it! Thank you for joining us today, Luxo lovers! If you found our content valuable, please take a moment to like, comment, and share. Your engagement means the world to us. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Your support keeps us going, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.